Hello, this is No Face Movements, January 19th, 2013, and I'm bringing breaking news and warnings and watches for the west coast of California for a major earthquake. Alright, um, I'm putting out an 80% chance of a major earthquake. It's going to happen in the next week or two. And from all the data I collected, all the research I've been doing, um, it comes down to 80% chance of a major earthquake in California, between Los Angeles all the way up to San Francisco. Alright folks, please be prepared. Right now if you live there and you're not evacuating, um, get enough water to sustain a few weeks because you are going to have to evacuate because all your water is from the valley. Alright, if you live in Sacramento, 100% just evacuate. All right, um, the levees can't withstand even a magnitude 5 earthquake. Alright, um, I'm about to bring you the evidence and what led me up to give you guys this 80% chance warning. Alright, let's get into it. Here's the heart status um, map. And you can see that when it's quiet, it's nothing like Australia. But there's a lot of stuff going on in Australia. Um, I got warnings and watches for Central Europe for major storms and earthquakes. But the news for today and for a couple weeks is I got major storm warning out for the Great Lake region, for the Central Plains, for the Midwest, the South, and the Northeast. All right, for major storms, a 30% chance of the New Madrid fault line, and a 30% chance tied in with the Appalachian fault lines. And western New York and western PA down through the Appalachian Mountains. Alright, but that was the other video. If you want to go check that out, go check that out. Alright, but the warnings right now is for the West Coast in California. Let's zoom in. Alright, there was just on uh, January the 16th, the whole West Coast over here was all red. Alright, and then it shrank down kept shrinking kept shrinking and you can see where they're pointing it at between Los Angeles and San Francisco you can see it's still pink as we speak right now that's a nine all right it was a 10 to but that's where it's focused right now the harp all right so I put warnings and watches for 50% chance of major earthquake all right and major storms all right it's 50% you're going to either get a storm or earthquake now we're up to 80%. Um, it's still going. All right, the harp ring. Um, you guys are probably going to see chemtrails on the 20th. Um, an earthquake could happen, though, before the 20th. It could happen right now as I'm doing this video. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, I just want you people out there to be prepared. All right, now let's move on. And how I got to the conclusion today of 80% chance of a major earthquake between San Francisco and... Los Angeles. Alright folks. Um I still got warnings and watches to the twenty third for the whole west coast and the uh, western part of the Central Plains in the north and in the south. Alright folks, let's get let's move on. Alright, now we're at RSOE. Alright, and um I'm gonna bring you guys a weather report tomorrow for warnings and watches on RSOE on the twentieth. But right now we're just focusing on the major earthquake warning. 80% chance evacuate California in the next week or two. It's been a quiet 4.0s, nothing in the past three days over five. All right, but when we start looking at North America, all right, you got North America 2.6 in Washington State today. You got a 3.0 North America Washington, 2.3 North America California. 2.7 North America, Alaska. 3.3 North America, Nevada. 2.1 North America, Alaska. 2.4 North America, Alaska. 2.1 Alaska. 2.5 California. A 2.0 Hawaii. A 2.2 United States, California. 2.3 United States, California. Uh, two point 
where we left off. 2.0, United States, Alaska. And a 2.2, Baja, California. All right, so most of the earthquakes, little earthquakes. All right, and if you check out this place, my links at the bottom. This is on the outer skirts of the fault lines uh, in North America on the West Coast. All right, folks. And the pressure is building there in California. All right. But this overall didn't got me to the 80%. This got me to 60% chance because before a major earthquake, we're going to have little tremors. And we've been seeing a lot in California. Also, um, major volcanoes on the West Coast and Central Plains are active. The days that they were shooting um, on the West Coast before it moved completely on the West Coast of California. At one point, uh, January 17, 2013, state of Idaho, Island Park, Caldera. January 17, 2013, uh, Wyoming. Yellowstone Calder. Alright, folks. But today, you gotta remember this dire so easy in a different country, but um, January the 20th, 2013, January 19th, still, because I'm reporting this on January 19th, 2013, state of California, Long Valley Calder. Alright, so the Calder is active too, the super volcano. Alright, let's move on. So, on RSOE. Today, on January the 19th, 2013, in uh, Santa Maria, California, there's a hazmat. And I go through all this stuff to see how important or if I should report it or not. Some things are vehicle accidents, some are not. But this is very important. All right. Um, when you go to description, give us a second to load up. When you go to description, it's talking about air monitoring test. All right, so let's read what it says. Hazmat in USA on Saturday, 19 January 2013. Air monitoring tests were conducted today by Santa Maria City staff in all manholes on Sloan Terrace and two other streets after a report this week of concentrations of field gas methane detected in the soil under 19 homes along the 800 and 900 blocks of Sloan Terrace, a neighborhood in the southeast area of the city. The methane most likely resulted from degradation of organic material in overwatered, heavily compacted soil, according to experts consulted by the city. City management and analyst Mark Van de Kamp said in a release, Friday's test by Utilities Department staff detected no gas, indicating the source is not from the municipal sewer lines. The city will monitor the situation with further testing, according to Van de Kamp. Semper Energy detected the gas on Tuesday during the course of a routine inspection of its pipeline facilities. The crew found gas indications at foundations of the homes and performed tests inside gas pipeline. On Wednesday, Semper Energy's lab took underground samples and found the pipeline, found that the methane under the soil surface had different characteristics from the gas in the pipeline. The company notified the city and all residents on Sloan Terrace. No methane was detected inside the homes, and residents were notified. The company's laboratory analysis determined the gas is filled gas composed primarily of methane, which is a colorless, odorless, non-toxic, flammable gas. All right, folks, so they detect methane in Santa Maria, 120 miles uh, north of uh, Los Angeles. And you're thinking, oh, methane ain't nothing. It ain't coming from the pipes. It's underground. It's uh, a 19 houses that are in the area. I did research. Um... Sloan Terrace is actually sitting on the San Andreas fault lines outer skirts, for real. Um, before any major earthquakes, all right, scientists, 50% of them skeptic, 50% of them prove it, but they, people won't listen to them. Um, when the crusts of the earths and the plates move, 
It releases methane gas, and it comes up before any major earthquakes. I'm, and I'm saying major earthquakes. Little earthquakes, you ain't going to detect methane. Major earthquakes, it's coming deep within the plates that has hundreds of years, 50 years, haven't been moved. So it's moving slowly from the pressure. And all that pressure is getting shot up from all the pressure that both plates are holding back. And the methane seeps through the ground and you can start smelling methane. And this happens before any major earthquakes. And I'm about to bring you the proof right here. Um, this article talks about methane. The link's going to be at the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see. And we're trying to read it the best we can because we had to zoom in on this. But before major earthquakes, I'm going to have another link at the bottom by uh, NOAA scientists to about methane leaking before major earthquakes but this article is called predicting earthquakes All right. it is possible that certain animals are sensitive to vibrations or ultrasound generated by small earthquakes undetectable to people that precede a major earthquake perhaps some animals are sensitive to the smell of methane that may leak from the ground before an earthquake. Another possibility is that electrostatic particles may be coming from the ground. It's increasingly particles. The rest of the article is going to be at the bottom. Um, but it talks about methane, particles, different kind of gases leaking from the ground. All right. And how animals also could detect electrostatic particles. Oh, That's yeah. what that is. Sorry, but yeah. All right, so it's electrical statics particles. Thank you. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that comes from the ground before a major earthquake. But the number one thing that all these scientists can say is that it's methane. All right, and that's what they're seeing in Santa Maria. All right. And after I did a lot of research and found out about Santa Maria on a fault line, after I see how quiet it is, but only on the fault lines, um, that these tremors all up and down the west coast of North America, and then when you look at this harp status, this is very rare. You won't see this at all. All right, where it's pink and been like that for the past few days. All right. Another thing that's crazy, um, I'm on my link to Intercast, but there's no storms around this area, or no clouds, no moisture in this area. And that's from the harp heating up the atmosphere around that area. That's why it's so warm over here today, because of the harp. And I had the harp video too. Um, but it's heating up, it creates a giant microwave, folks. Um, but I got warnings and watches for the next two weeks. But it could happen tomorrow, it could happen Monday, all right? But within the next two weeks, there's an 80% chance that we're going to see a major earthquake, all right, on the West Coast. That's 50%. 80%, when we narrow it down, it's going to be between San Francisco and Los Angeles. All right, folks. Um, Sacramento, if you guys do get an earthquake, it would be the most devastating thing ever.